Good day, V. There is a man who must meet justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. Where's I'm counting on you, V. There's Bobs. ¿Por qué chingados metes las pinches narices donde no te llaman? Miku, what's shaking, brother? Why the long face play? Oh, you know, women. Hey, Carrubo! Know this one? <laughs> Except I'm here to fix your sound system. Those uh, built-in subwoofers are shaking down the joint. You're not on the list. Hey, if you really want, call your boss and ask. But I'm punching the meter now. So just remember, time's eddies. Fine, whatever. In you go. Thank you. 
you want? Huh. You know. hablas. No, no voy a oír. Mira esas pendejadas. Un pedazo de mierda sin cerebro.
Pero si acabas de salir, te agarraron otra vez. Me lleva la puta chingada. Tienes caca en la cabeza. the files from the Dicky Twister. I rejoice, and so should you, for the contract has been closed and no compensation is on its way. Amen. Fuck you looking at! Nothing to see here! Move along! Is this how Night City's finest protect and serve? Why? You want to be some kind of hero? I don't care. I don't know him. So, why the fuck we talking? I like to know what's going on around me. It's not every day you see a man in a thousand eddy suit getting beaten within an inch of his life. Wouldn't you agree? He put a girl into a coma. Daughter of a friend. Rotten skip for an XBD. Second one. From what I can tell, your guy's a mid-level manager. And? The corp won't let this slide. They'll pull the data from this asshole's biomon and find you. And then, they'll shoot you. You think I don't know that? Fucking corpos walking around like holy cows in a two-piece? But I ain't letting them go. No fucking chance. I'm not asking you to. What I want is for you to let me finish the job. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Nothing. It's just how I unwind. All right. Let's go, boys. Take care of yourself, officer. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? Truth. What do they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. But when I asked what I had to do with it, they started beating on me so hard, I thought I'd die. Ah, uh, this city's really going down the drain. For the police to do this in plain sight for no reason. Nice chatting with you. 
Now hand over the eddies. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Y you need a reward. Uh, is this enough? You know, it's not if you're asking. Don't make me finish with the badge you started. Okay. Here, here, here. That, that, that's everything I have on me. Have a pleasant evening. How's it going? Hey, you got any special offers? Depends. You want to cremate somebody? Or make a purchase for yourself? Don't you think it's a little too soon for me? Always better to be insured. If you pay now, you can get a 50% discount with our latest cremation salvation package. Come on now, that's just too good to be true. But it is true. The details are in our complimentary information booklet. It may have been a desperate attempt to divert attention away from the company's ongoing internal issues. After the break, we ask experts how they See? Hello? Alberto I miss you, Daddy. was an exceptional Wait. man. I already do. Exceptional. How rude! In hard times, he was stoic and humble. And in good times, his smile lit up the world. Today, we say our goodbyes. But we say them lightly, for we know we will meet again in the house. Today, we say our goodbyes. But we say them lightly, for we know we will meet again in the house of our Lord. <laughs> Hey, what's up with these doors? Nothing. Long as you're not fucking with them. No respect for the dead.
What? What in God's name? Dad? Daddy? Someone turn it off!
You're an angel sent from heaven, B. The demon possessed shards on its way to the client, just like your money's on its way to you. Closing the contract. Fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue, low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Ugh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request, no objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not, considering I'm your new owner? Increasing volume by 300%. <laughs> Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. Still got all your functions? Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum. Be what, dum, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 .01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, Stone Cold Killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Stone Cold Killer. <laughs> My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Ugh. Selected mode. Stone Cold Killer. Happy slaughtering.
lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Where'd you vanish to? Someone else needed me. Yeah, I felt good as new after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? Well, how much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. Thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. Last time. Wait, where's Brendan? They just came and took him just like that. They said they said they had to reevaluate part of his code. I tried stopping them, told them he was my best friend. They looked at me like I was crazy. If they just talked to him, they'd have realized Brendan isn't a typical schism. I knew it couldn't have just been me. He's like, he's like a real person. They took him to a maintenance point. One of them must have felt sorry for me or something. He gave me his card. Bring him back, please. I, I can't do this without him. Somebody pinch me. How can I help you? Your place. What is it exactly? Welcome to your local soft sis service point. Give new life to old tech. You fix equipment. Seriously. People actually do that instead of buying new? 
With the amount of customers we get, find myself asking the same question day after day. Here to see Brendan. Guess somebody brought him here. Uh, what Brendan's that again? Seriously? When your energy's low, grab a drink to go, 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 or however it is. Ah, that schism they brought in. <laughs> he really does have some of the catchiest slogans, don't he? <laughs> but hey, look, I, I can't let you back there. Can't afford to have to break something even worse. Got no idea what you're tinkering with. Brendan's unique. Damn near miracle of science. Bet the bank you've never come across a machine with that kind of cognitive matrix. For an AI to exist in such a small... All right, all right, Jesus, you know your stuff. Trust you won't break nothing. Go check on your little miracle while its firmware gets updated. Uh, he's getting updated? Well, I'll be darned. What a pleasant surprise. You came to say your final goodbyes? What do you mean? You're not getting scrapped, are you? You were making bank. Thanks for the compliment, but I guess that's the problem. Seems like I was unfair competition in the SCSM market. They're updating my system as we speak, to make me sound less like a real person. My boss really didn't like that. I reportedly creeped customers out. <sighs> Stupid Brendan. Why did I say stuff they didn't want to hear about themselves? If somebody wants a therapy session, they go to a psych doc. Not a... soda machine. I suspected as much. You're not actually an AI, are you? At least not anywhere close to an AGI. The processing power required to handle an AI with the capacity for free will? Well, your processor just isn't big enough. And you'd be correct. Say, you must be a pretty good techie. Your code monkey deserves a prize. Best convo emulating algorithm I've ever interacted with. <laughs> Almost had me fooled. You seem slightly disillusioned. Well, who else could say their friend was a schism? It was almost crazy enough to be beautiful. Looks like the update'll soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? <laughs> so, how about it? You know what? Go for it. I can learn to laugh like that, too. Don't get all mushy on me now, V. You... You have to... <clears throat> to keep living. Tell Theo... Tell Theo that she's stronger... <clears throat> than she thinks. <clears throat> Don't worry, Brandon. I'll tell her. Hey, V, where was Johnny Silverhand when the... Uh, uh, when the bomb at Arasaka Tower went off? I don't know where. All over the place. Literally. Software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brendan. I'll miss you. Did you find him? Where is he? Is he coming back? I, uh, found him. Told me to tell you that you're strong inside. Always were. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, right? I'm just worrying for nothing, aren't I? Just blowing things out of proportion, assuming the worst. Typical. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that... bad news? Brennan you knew was gone. 
They replaced him with some generic AI that's gonna be in every schism. He told me to tell you that he'll miss you. Fuck! Oh. I mean, thanks. Damn it. That stupid robot was the best thing that happened to me in months. You know, Brendan got me out of a really dark place. Doesn't matter who or what he really was. I'm gonna miss him too. Contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. I think I'm starting to get the hang of all this. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. Do not cling too tightly to your thoughts, but allow them to flow freely. Does a toad clench its fist when it swims? What is the sound of one hand clapping? That depends. Is someone clapping with you? I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes, you may begin. I will guide you. We are in the forest. We see rays of sunlight pierce the canopy dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, Burn all impurity from my body and soul, and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace, so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, spirit of the sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and so Of course that would happen. Oh shit, not good. Some work? Doing what? 
A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? You want to run this by a fixer first. Fuck the middleman. They're cash drains. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a consultant. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah, everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Well then, I guess. Rough shape, but alive. Let's hear what Dennis has to say. Hey, got a status? Find the package? He's a little worse for wear, but no issues. What's next? I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. Wait, 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 what? <clears throat> Ass all hung up.
Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. Holding in there all right, Hariyoshi? They need to give me hope. Early warning about the Tigers would have been nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan. Brain sergeant. Top of all. Good instinct. One day, Tiger Crow boss needs surgery. But both die on table. Tiger Crows were very angry. I hide in boat. Swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Tiger Crow boss on purpose. World best surgeon make no mistake. This is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know, here. May this blade serve you well. Where are you from, exactly? Green Sanjon to World Best. Good to instinct. What's your name again? Green Sanjon to World Best. Good to instinct. Your executives, your leaders. But they are not human, no. But then what, you ask? Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born from centuries ago from the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics? Or use contact lenses, at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then why not have their own rippers invent some? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Radio waves bear the truth. <laughs> Trying to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. You know what's happening to me, don't you? You are dying. You have two souls within you. One wants to fight, the other is afraid. Which one's mine? Both. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes, it will cost however much you want. Hope this'll do. I will guide you through the meditation.
This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, spirit of the air, with our mind, body, and soul. And he is gone. <laughs> At least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. You see that? There was a Zen master here, and poof, he vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Yeah, good idea. Gonks fucking up her joint. My bet she'd whip out a shotgun and blast your heads off. Hey, right, come on, Pedro. No work. No work up. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. So what what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? He would have caught a beating, or worse. 
This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. How's it going? Nice weather today. Proper funeral. Mi propio hijo. It's okay, Mama Wells. I... I can't talk about this now. Okay? Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. Around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs. No future. Where they end up? Behind bars. This neighborhood died a long time ago. I'll have a drink. How you doing? Calling in like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. You could have ended badly if you had not stepped in. Yeah, well, not all heroes were kids. How about we drink to you? In the house. Don't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Base on it. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is... Who will? Good lady did up here, me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. It used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why you want to know who she's with? That's the point. What's the point? What kind of gun question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. You're gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. <laughs> And what do you get in return? Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. No, v. V, you never learn, do you? Oh, is it chat time? 
Oh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wisdom. Get this over with. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusions. Namely, people don't change. Especially not people like Kirk. I think I don't know. Am I lending Kirk cred for a new Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No. Of course something stinks. But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look the other way. You gotta find what's stinking up the joint, and why. Otherwise, you step right in it. Came up in these streets, Johnny. Can take care of myself. Sure, hope so, V. I see you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me. I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen. Job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V. Who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot, at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Bar's betrayal of the guiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done. I'm trying to focus. Like you? Yeah. You're young. Huh? I thought I saw on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. Not her, I thought. No pink jacket, no guilt in her eyes. 
Christ, this is even worse than your songs. Tell me how many people you've killed. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. Got too close. Again. Something just drew me to her. Like one magnet to another. Ugh, stop. woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Now read that. is a bum. Gives him a wide berth. Doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know I. I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a second. Uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing. I... 
Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it, no, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please uh, tell him, tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself, that, that I'm really sorry, that life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So? My son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, Don't... ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes. Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but... The woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense. Hey! Hey, V! Over here, Chum! Now you Chum. Yeah, sure. Just trying to be friendly as well. Not Chums, not friends. Biz. Now. 
Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? Don't walk. You scan the area, anyone inside? All clear, V. Not a soul. You can waltz right in like you own the place. I thought this was a job for two. Looks like I'm carrying all the weight here. All the weight? All the fucking weight? Who's gonna keep watch? Me, of course. Anything happens, you'll know. Nope, don't like to split. Two thirds for me, one for you. Know what? Sure. You're all right, V. A pro, a pal. A tune like you is hard to find in this town. Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. What the fuck is this? Close? Mm-hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe... Implants. Fucking Militech wear. I'ma shove these duds right up his ass. Shit. Now firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time, V. Scrape him up and put him under. No one to tell. 
on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey! Who's got it? Dell? Us Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse, dude. Listen, I want to talk to Delamay. You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Mr. Hans Jonas. Actually, a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah. Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? No. Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking for the core. Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human-operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
Processing data now. Please wait. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Processing data now. Please wait. Processing data now. Please wait. 